Hello fellow survivors and welcome back to Road to 500 Days. And here we are in the cannery looking at Fluffy laying there having a little rest since the struggle that was in the last episode. Now this episode is a bit special because we are about to cross into 100 days threshold. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to just survive to 100 days and we're going to do a few things we haven't done we're going to go up to the upper levels to get the bunker maybe kill another pack of timber wolves maybe look around for some arrows and that sort of thing now before we do anything further i'll point out that the way that the game measures time there's two different ways so in this series i have been measuring it through here so you see i'm on day 99 today but this is it depends on how you count so this is day 99 in the run however i have survived 97 days because it, it counts one day survived when you have survived 24 hours since your spawn so i haven't survived so in, in tomorrow in the game i will be on day 100 but i will not have survived 100 days if that makes sense so there's two it depends on how you choose to count it um i follow in this series this calendar however I won't count it as having survived 500 days, obviously, or 100 until it says that here. Okay, with that said, we are in the cannery. Before we head back, let me have another look around because uh, it was dark last time. I want to see if there's anything I missed. I will come back here though and repair some more tools. Uh, oh yes, I did not search this. Someone in my uh, comments on the previous videos said I didn't search these, and they were right. Anything interesting? Meh. Give me wool socks. Now this um, this video here is the first video. Let's take this. Since the quality of life update came out, so. Um, that's something to keep in mind. How much scrap metal do I have? Not that much. So I think I would like to harvest some scrap metal as well. Uh, in here. This is some easy scrap metal I can grab. Maybe this. It gives four. Yeah, that's pretty good. And cloth too. I yeah, think that's probably the best bet. This is also four, an hour and a half. And this is four and... Uh, Time of day. So, yeah, we can do this one. I want the scrap metal to repair the tower. Single void tower. Okay, I think that's probably it. We'll make ammunition one day just for the fun of it, but for now we don't need it. Okay, I think we are pretty much done here. We have this rope. I don't need this rope. I'll take it outside so it's not laying here. And then we say thank you to Fluffy. Thank you so much for a thrilling fight. Too heavy to carry. And we'll maybe see you again. I don't know if Fluffy respawns. Maybe she does. I don't know. I know that Sketchy respawns, but I'm not sure about the other wolves. Okay. We're going to head back to the um, main cannery. Let's take this with us. It's Fluffy's side. Uh, let's see here. How heavy am I? I'm quite heavy, but I think I can carry this stuff back. It's not a big deal. Quite cold. Can I eat this as raw? Okay. Oh, beach coming stuff. Uh, let's. I might take that with me though. I think I'm gonna leave this uh, rope here. Come back for this another time. Take the wolf meat instead. And then we're going to leave. I don't suppose this counts as sunny, does it? It does count as sunny, okay. In that case, why don't we... Oh, that counts as indoors. That's... Why don't we make a fire? And we can cook this meat. Now, one thing also about this run uh, that I uh, think I'm going to change a little bit is that on, we are now approaching 100 days, but we have three close encounters where I almost died. Now, some of them were predictable to a certain degree in the sense that there was a certain amount of control. Uh, for example, I fought Fluffy and I thought I would be able to take down Fluffy in a fight, which I did, but barely. 
Uh, and the same thing uh, with the uh, Timberwolf pack. Nevertheless, they were all very close encounters. Unnecessarily close encounters. And I have been playing a bit with my... Um, with my... Uh, condition in this run. So I generally treat my condition as a resource that allows you to travel further and that sort of thing. But I think I've utilized it a little bit too much, especially in the later game. And I've been near death a bit more than I should. The one in Broken Railroad, that one was beyond my control because the wolf uh, ignored the fire because of the bear. And in addition, there's been a bug where the wolves um, ignore fire, which has now been fixed. So there's a few um, there's a few things like that, but I'm going to try and be a bit more careful. I'm still going to use my health as a resource, though, because that's what I do. But I'm going to try and not take so many risks and have very low health. Famous last words, though. We'll see if that actually uh, stays like that. Is there anything I can harvest or anything like that? Uh, or create? Acorn grounds. Yeah, we could make that. Do I want to make that, though? Yeah, I think we do. I'm not going to use those for anything, am I? Yeah, let's make that. Probably my Aiko wants I'll just go grab them. Okay. Uh, do that. Eat that. And then cook that. Much nicer weather now, that's good. I'm just going to cook this, and I'm going to carry the fire too, I think. Have a drink too. Bring this stuff back. Uh, do that, take that. And let's cook on here. Let's place this to cook this faster as well. And then that. Yeah. Does it make the birch tea? No more than one? No. You can make a very small water. Okay. That's it. I think we can just go. So we're going to head down now here. And head to our main base with all this stuff. It's too heavy to run, it seems. And what we're going to do is so we're going to... I'll have another look for arrows. Uh, I might cook some more bear meat as well. And I'm going to check out the upper levels. I mean, I've already been to the upper levels, but there's two things we need to do on the upper levels. We need to uh, do the Polaroid. And we need to do the bunker that's there. That's what we're going to do today. There's a few areas we haven't really been to. Let's grab this birch bark here. And let's just make sure we survive to 100 days. Should be pretty easy. Considering that we killed all the timber wolves, killed the bear, the only timber wolves left are the ones um, at a higher level, the upper level. Mm. Mechanism static, but I think it's just my headset. I think we should be able to get there without uh, taking cold damage, I think. And there should be some raw meat there that we can cook too. We could also do fishing if we need more of that. I haven't done fishing actually, that's something that people have asked me. Uh, how come I haven't done any fishing? <laughs> well, because I don't really need to. Um, I get enough food from hunting. But I do fish sometimes. I primarily fish to get some extra food near a base sometimes. 
and to refuel jerry cans if i want more fish oil so at least once during this road to 500 days you will see me drag all the jerry cans to one fishing hut and refuel them and do like a 10 day fishing spree or something like that there's a few times that we're going to do long term things so uh, right now for example we're 100 days in and most episodes have been maybe two days three days you know i think so uh, but there will be some where it's going to be multiple because there's some where i'm going to do lots of fishing uh where i'm going to do some more crafting uh i'm going to do a hibernation session at some point uh to do animal research which uh, will happen later not right now so there will be several things uh that happen that will require time but for the most part we're taking it slow like this and i will do fishing now and then but mostly if i need food and hunting is limited uh, or if i just want some more fish oil or i just fancy so you will see me do some fishing here and there but i don't tend to do it very often fish gives a lot of calories which is a great food resource but they also weigh a ton so the ratio of like weight and calories is pretty low. It's really heavy stuff for the amount of food you actually get. Okay, we're almost there. I could go back to the lighthouse because I lost a um, an arrow there. But it was a fire hardened arrow. And um, some of you have spotted where it was, but I didn't. But I'm not going to go back up there just for an arrow. Okay, I'm guessing I'm I am actually going to get cold, but barely. We could do fishing here if I wanted some more food for this base. But there are some bases that have a fishing hut right outside of it. This is one of them. And um, in these locations, it's handy to fish because it just makes... It ensures that you have lots and lots of food. So it's worth fishing here. It's worth fishing us in Timwolf Mountain sometimes and Coastal Highway and uh, some other places. I don't tend to fish for often in Pensive Pond, that sort of thing. I will do some fishing though at some point just to try out the new fishing mechanic. So for example, I you need to uh, fish up the, the rare fish using lures and that sort of thing. So I will do some fishing here and there, but it's not something I tend to do very often because it's not really necessary. Okay, here we are. The torch blew out, but I think it's still sunny. So we could make a fire like over here. Yeah, let's just do that. We can cook this, this meat and we can make more uh, water as well. Come on, little fire. Come on, little fire. Little, little fire. <clears throat> and I will see if I can find some more arrows and we'll also go up top. Let's utilize this fine weather now that we have it. Oh, actually, no. Hold on. Uh, put that there and put that there cook put on the heavy yeah wait that's it cook that and cook that and then we go inside to warm up and let's drop some things so we got bear hide here we got a uh, wolf pelt we're gonna drop fluffy's wolf pelt in here actually no fluffy's wolf pelt should be like in a special location it can be over here and again this is fluffy Of his guts, however, not so important. Let's put some stuff in here. So we got uh, the book. We can do that later. Uh, we don't need any of these. Um, nothing here. Yeah, this is all ruined now. That's fine. I need to repair some things. Uh, Cans, put the cans in here. Put that in there. Gunpowder is accelerant, but I'm not sure I can be bothered to carry that around. Get rid of these two. Put the wires in here. These in here. 
We have an extra pry bar. We have an extra bedroll. Which I'm not sure why I was carrying that around. But here we are. <laughs> Don't need to carry all these around either. All this really by the way is nothing. Uh, this we can put in here too. And this. And this except for five in case I want to make fire hardened ones. This also except for one. And I think that's much better. Let's see. Anything else? Uh, I could put food in here too, I guess. But I'll put a peach in here. Sure. I guess that's it. The wood we'll use now. Okay. Let's actually create that. That's better. Let's just do some cooking outside. We need some more water also. I should have put the food there actually. Uh, that's all right though. Put this down. All right, let's see here. One day I'll make all the um, recipes as well. Okay, uh, this is cooked. Let's also just cook, drop this stuff. And water, we don't have that much water, so I'm gonna put some water here and make some. Just to solidify the space. Do this, that's done. Did I just eat that raw? I don't think so, no. Cook that and cook uh, this. And let's put some of this on too. Hopefully it doesn't blow out. If it does, it does. And then I think that's it really. We're just gonna kill some time here now. I could fish while I cook this, of course. Could do that. Then I have to go back and forth. So I don't know if that's necessary. We could do some mapping, I suppose. Uh, first, so I'm gonna warm up, up a bit. So I'm gonna do this. Let's have a drink. And grab that. Now, some people ask me sometimes how I, how I pass time. And it's uh, very easy. You click on it, see at the bottom here, it says space, pass time until ready. So then you just pass time. The game can fast forwards time until it's ready. And that's all there is to it, really. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do a, do a little tidying here, too. Now we have lots more food. Uh, let's go and map this cave that's over here. Just to do something while this is cooking. It takes 15 minutes to map. So by the time I've gone over here and mapped it gone back, that will be about half an hour. So it'll be cooked. This is the bear cave that's over here. But the bear cave uh, should be empty. There's, there's never any loot in bear caves. Not that I recall, at least. I still want to map it, though. Oh, looks like we got a pallet or something over there. Is that a pallet? I think it, I think it might be a canoe, actually. Oh, no. You do have a carcass, though. I could check out actually beach coming while I cook the next round. See what I can find. Oops. Could do that. There it is. You can tell it's a bear cave because of the bones. There we go. And then we go back over here. I might do some beach coming while we cook. Get some more sticks while we're at it. We don't need to hunt anymore. For a while. But we do ha have to face another Tim Wolf pack, so I'm happy to... And I'm going to regenerate to full health. Before I climb up to the top. Because there will be one Tim Wolf pack there. Now we're going to check out some Misk stuff up there. And a couple of the smaller places we've been to. I 
Try and regenerate as much as possible here. Wonderful scenery. As usual. Alright, let's see how's this how's this looking here. This is oh god almost walked on that. This is done. Perfect. Put that there. And continue. Let's uh, cook this. Make some more water. Two hours, sure. We're not particularly heavy either, so. Uh, let's warm up and then we'll go out and check out the beach coming. So let's just do uh, this. Uh, barely warm doing this, actually. Hmm. That changes that a bit. In that case, let's put on one more of these. Too windy. Oh, damn. And just as I put that on, the wind changed. Where is the wind coming from? Straight ahead? It doesn't look like it's windy. Odd. This is weird. Do this. We'll do some beach coming after. Hey, we got an aurora. Nice. Getting some cooking done, which is good. Okay, uh, let's go and check some beach coming out. It is cold though, so I don't want to spend too long doing this. Yeah, Aurora power. I might not do the whole loop because I'm going to take too much uh, damage, probably. It's very, very cold. But I'm going to check over here. These towers should light up soon. Doesn't seem like the aurora is in effect yet. We just have the visual thing. That happens, usually. The aurora weather triggers first. And then afterwards you get the actual effect of the aurora. That's when the lights turn on and that sort of stuff. We still don't have that. But the towers glow is a good indication. Okay, we're definitely not going to do the whole loop. It's going to check over here. It's going to take cold damage for sure. Could have heated up a birch tea, I suppose. I don't think there's anything here, actually. I would have seen it by now. There is some further up the corner here, but... I don't need it, so... Yeah, I think we'll just head back, honestly. It's not really worth the uh, cold damage. Head back to the fire. Let's uh, let's look this way while we walk, and then the tower might suddenly switch on. Now you can run into Timberwolf Aurora versions, so Aurora Timberwolves, and they're quite they're quite brutal <laughs> because the fire trick and stuff doesn't work on them. Even Marine Flares does not work. So if you run into Aurora Timberwolves, you kind of have to shoot them. Or run away. Uh, or noise makers. I think noise makers actually work on Aurora uh, Tim Wolves. Did the wind change again? Seems like it, yeah. There we are. I'm not sure how much more I'll cook, though. One little fire. There we go. Don't really want to use coal, though. Not really. But we'll do what we can. Is that cooked? No. Oh. Let's put that on here then. 15 minutes. And this. Also the same. There you go. 10 minutes. Okay, we'll do that.
Take that. Very quite cold, so I'm gonna go inside a little bit. Go right back. Alright. Uh, let's just warm up here. I'm not gonna pass time because I want to. I want to regenerate. So let's just do. Sorry, I don't want to sleep. Is what I mean. Radio. Get some music. Christmas lights, by the way. Not a lot of places have Christmas lights, but this is one of them. You get to enjoy those. Come here in the holiday spirits. <laughs> There's a couple others to have it. I think the other one in, in this region has it, and there is another one somewhere else. I can't remember where. Okay, that's burnt almost. Uh, let's just cook another one. Let's put, cook this actually. There you go, lights are on. Nothing up here though. Uh, I can see there's some sticks around, but I think this cooking session is more or less done. Yeah, I think so. Cook that. I think we'll just take... Oh, uh, we could cook this, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Take that. Let's just eat this. And there we go. I think that's good enough. Uh, we'll keep one of those on. Cooked quite a bit of this. Water. Yeah, we got some water. I would have liked to have a bit more, to be honest. And then I think I want to pass a little bit more time. So I want to sleep 10 hours. Not quite there yet. Uh, about there, I guess. Sleep. And then we sleep for 10 hours. There we go. Let's eat our bear meat. Sounds like there's a blizzard outside. In which case... I don't think I want to keep traveling. I think I'll wait. Yeah. Let's grab, though, uh, two of these. Let me see. Do I have any books I can read while we wait? It's a perfect thing to do. Uh, I think I have a gunsmithing book, unless I read that already. Did I read that already? Yeah. Okay, well, that's firewood in that case. Uh, in that case, I think we'll just drop it here. Uh, we can break down a couple things. Break down this too. To clear some space. Don't like breaking down... Um, chairs and things. Unless I have a suspicion there's something behind it. These can stay. Uh, I guess we can break this down. I'm not going to use a bucket for anything. I don't like breaking down shelves. A lot of people do that. I don't really like that. Because I think it makes the house messier. Okay, I think that's good enough. Let's put that stuff in here. So we got some more cloth. Down there. And we got some wood. Which I think we will carry with us probably. For now. And it sounds like still blizzard going, so we'll sleep for another two hours, say. See what happens. 
Okay. Sounds like it stopped. There we are. All right, let's see. Yeah, it stopped. How cold is it though? Uh, pretty cold, but not that cold actually. Uh, I think we can head out right away. Uh, actually, it's a little bit cold. The wind is what makes it cold. Uh, that's right. We can take some cold damage. That's fine. I'm gonna head to the cabin that's over here as fast as possible. So I can warm up there. And then I can climb the rope. And we'll stay at the top level a little bit. Uh, there might be Timberwolves. I already killed or the or the demoralized rather the pack. But I think there were two left walking about, so they may have regrouped. But the pack itself should not have respawned. Should go over there also. But... Unlike Tarmigans, but... Is there any fire hard arrows? No, none. Oh, very bad weather. That's alright. We'll take a little bit of cold damage. There's the Timberwolf. Let's just make our way. I could just go straight up, of course, but I think I would rather uh, head to the cabin first. So cold. I'm warming up a bit. So take a little bit of cold damage here, but that's okay. If the distance was further, I think I would have warmed up. So I'm going to be a little bit more careful with my health as a resource. Um, unless I know that it's not going to be an issue. But here with Tim Wolves, it's a bit more of an issue. There it is. That's uh, the lone survivor. Run and tell your friends. The rope's over there, but I think we'll go and warm up first. But lucky, the weather will get a little bit better also. Will be nice. Cattails. I don't think we need cattails. There we are, back at the cabin. So let's just uh, warm up here. We'll sleep for like one hour or something. Then we got to climb up. Now, I don't have crampons. I think I've talked about that before in this series. I don't tend to use crampons at all. It's not that they're bad or anything. They do uh, help climbing. Uh, unless they changed it, they don't actually help with your energy. Because I did side-by-side -side comparisons and it made no difference to your energy at all. Uh, that is to say, your fatigue was completely unaffected by having crampons. But your sprint meter, or your climbing meter, as it converts into, that is affected. So you do climb more effectively with crampons. But I don't tend to bother carrying them around. Especially now, when you have the insulation instead. But, uh, by the way, I presume now we will say 100 days there. So we are technically on 100 days. Hooray! We made it 100 days. Isn't that great? But we haven't survived 100 days yet. We still wait a day off there, so we're gonna wait with that. Wait with the celebration, so to speak. Let's sleep for an hour here. That's good. Yeah, okay, we're missing <laughs> not long, 18 hours for the next day. Okay, now it's oh, very nice weather now. Very, very nice. Can we even... Yeah. I spawned in like the morning, I think it was. I can just walk actually now, I don't even have to, to run. Because now it's only 
minus five degrees simply in it because it's late in the afternoon i have double bear coat and it's still it's the wind that's so cold so yeah we got it that's very nice so that, we're going to climb up now to the upper levels and there's two things that we need to do we need to oh we need we haven't really mapped anything up here have we well, not the top part anyway but we're going to map we're going to go and do the polaroid mapping and then we're going to go into the bunker so there are nine bunkers to be find, found plus the single void bunker of course but single void bunker is different that's like a story mode one which has stuff in it and also um uh story related things but then there's the nine prepper cache which used to be random it used to be that you can only find prepper caches on lower difficulties and in Mystery Lake and Ple uh, Pleasant Valley and Mystery Lake were the only places. And there was also one in Blackrock. But in Indlow didn't exist. And they, were, they spawned in random locations. So they had multiple options, but they were random. Okay, we're going to climb up here. We're going to take a break at the ledge. Uh, but now they changed it. So now there is kind of one hatch in every region. I think there's one or two regions that don't have a hatch. And in Indlow, where all the caches are empty. On lower difficulties, you, three of the nine bunkers will have loot in it, like a lot of loot, so they're worth finding for sure. And they're always in the same locations, they're not random every, anymore. So every bunker in every region is always the same location. For this one, um, the beginning one, the bunker's like up here. So an interloper, the bunkers are all empty, except for one bunker, which has a little bit of small loot in it most importantly the recipe uh for the uh, i think it's called prepper's pie and you can also find a hammer in there so it's worth checking all of the bunkers on interloper 2. okay so there should be a pack of timberwolves there and i probably will kill the pack as well if they don't uh. Only two wolves. Okay, so one of them ran off with my arrow. But I should be able to find it. Okay, uh, let's do the mapping first, I think. So the tin wolves are taken care of. Because I don't know exactly. I want to map up here too, but I don't know exactly where uh, that mapping goes. Have I been to the secret area? I can't remember. But over here there's a secret little area. The, well, the birds kind of give it away, <laughs> making it not so secret. Uh, I don't remember if I've been here or not, but... Uh... It looks... Do we have to crouch? Go? Well, we want the feathers anyway, so... Yeah, I have been here. Might map here, though, because... Um, I don't know if this shows up on the Polaroid. We'll see. Let's head to the Polaroid location. We've been to before, because we already have the workshop code. The Tim Wolf is also going to be dead somewhere soon. Then I get my arrow. It should be easy to find these arrows because the um, it's a small area, the upper levels. So it's not too hard to find the carcass, especially if you have crows. We don't need to hunt there or anything. We want, we're not going to stay here. Not for very long, anyway. There are shortcuts to get down. There's two shortcuts. We maybe will use them. One of them is up here on the bridge. And one is over some rocks. The one that's over the rocks, I do not recommend that you do at all. But if you do want to know how it works, uh, you can watch my Dark Walker speedrun and also my Acid Dead Sleep speedrun. And they have... Have it uh, show it there. I can't 
can't feel I think I've been inside these. I've no I haven't. Okay. Hey memento key. Nice. Which lockbox though? So I, there's a lockbox over here that I found. And I have the key for that one. Uh oh, where's the other lockbox? Oh, where? So I've been in here in the last, in an older episode, of course, when I got the, uh, <laughs> when I got the code, but I didn't actually check the visors. Oh, actually, were the, were the mementos added after that? I can't even remember. This whole series is a journey through the DLC updates as well. <laughs> so there are stuff that's added and all the episodes will not contain those things. Very soon, DLC Part 4 is coming out. So if you're watching this in the future, then uh, this is at the precipice of that. And like, this, is a, this is recorded in October, and it's going to come out in October. Let's uh, warm up a little bit here. There's also a quick look in here to see. Is there anything at all that I missed here? Do I have any refueling? I don't know. I don't think so though, but let's have a look. Uh, you never know. You should always loot everything twice anyway, at least twice. Especially with all these DLC updates. You never know if they added something. No, you never know. Doesn't seem like it though, so far. Okay. Let's go and uh, map then. Okay, so up here should be the Polaroid location. This Burdock here too. I don't think I've actually been up here. Yes, yeah, so there's the location. I don't think I need the Burdock, but... Very nice weather for mapping. There we go. I mapped a decent chunk, didn't it? So we actually mapped most of the beginlet now. It is missing... Oh, this is ice here, but this could still be mapped. This also could theoretically be mapped. And then up here, uh, which we can do today. Right, so we did that. Very nice. Damn. I'm freezing. Yeah, we're going to warm up Astrid. Uh, we can... Uh, Actually, sleep for like an hour, I guess. So just one hour. Warms up. Get a little bit of energy so we can sprint back. If we're lucky, the crows are still out. Then we can uh, go get them. Alright. Still warmish. Uh, so now. There's a few other places up here I haven't checked, so I don't think when I when I was here last time, I think I pretty much just took the trip down to the ravine to get the uh, uh, there was a stim, wasn't there? And also um, to get the workshop code, seeing as I was right here anyway. And then. Um, I didn't really do much else. So there's a few smaller places up here that tends to have saplings. There's a cave. And of course there is the... Um, what should we call it? The bunker. So we need to go to all those places as well. And we can map as well. Should still be able to map. It's getting dark, but it's still not heavy fog. And then of course we got our dead timber wolf somewhere, which has one of our arrows. So we need to find that. Uh, I'm getting a bit colder now. Let's run a little bit. Over here, there's another little secret area over here. I think it's here. It's like a little collapsed stone thing you can go through. Is it here or is it somewhere else? Might be... I don't remember exactly where it is. It's either here or around the corner from here. Where there's like a little ledge you go to. Is that here or is that... Oh, here it is, yeah. So. 
I had, I had gone past it, I think. And you can grab this uh, sapling here. Is this on the map? It is on the map, yeah. And then out here, see there's a little, little area right here. Here we got some random wood. Pick that up. And it's maple. See, that it did not show up here, did it? No. Let's just map that. The sun is setting. Yeah. Get a lot colder soon. Take that too. Getting a bit cold here. Let's check out up here too. I think we might go to the tower and sleep soon. Uh, I can take a little bit of cold damage because before I get to full health because there are no threats up here left since I destroyed that Tim Wolf pack. And um, I got uh, security um, in two places, three, three places. Oh, there we are. This is one wolf. Seems like it, yeah. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna shoot him just to destroy the morale. Interesting. Ah, oh, both arrows were like. Ah, oh, he was standing right there, and then I got missed by a few inches. Oh well. So I'm safe. I'm another jinx to add to the record. Is that a... That's a doe. We can... Uh... Let's grab a few cattails, actually. Might map here actually. I think this is outside the area. Let's map here. Yeah. And where is the dead timber wolf? The one that ran away. It is possible though. Um, I just thought of it now. It's possible that those two Timberwolves were the same Timberwolves that I ran into earlier. Uh, because sometimes when you go indoors and pass time, they bug out. And uh, then the arrow that's in the wolf just drops to the ground. So it is possible that, that now there's an arrow that's somewhere randomly on the floor. And uh, those are the same tools as, as possible. There is a mod you can install that makes arrows easier to find uh, by adding a, a little glow around the arrows. And this makes it easy to find them later. But I, I like it like this, <laughs> you know, it's more realistic this way. Not that this game is meant to be completely realistic, but... Okay, I, I'm gonna go to the bunker, but I'm gonna go here first. Here's the cave. And uh, warm up here. Maybe map this cave too. And we'll go to the bunker. And we're more or less done up here. Alright, we got some Miss Glute in here. Here we go. I've never been so hungry in my life. Can I map this? Ah, low visibility. I think I'll sleep here though, probably. Uh, pass some time first. I might sleep in the bunker instead, actually, because it's uh, close. Eat that. Drink this. And we'll map this later. So, the bunker that I'm talking about is up here. Uh, up there, I think. Up here. Uh, 
And how many bunkers have I checked so far this run since they were added? Um, I can't remember, not, not many. Let's see. I'll go to it now. This should be up here, I think, up there. See? Ow. And it should be up here. I think. There it is. Da -da. It's the bunker. This is the Hushtree River Valley one. Hushtree Valley, wow. Leaky Inlet one. All the way up here. Let's check inside. I have to, I have to pause it though. Hold on. Here we are. Be right back. Okay. All right, here we are in the prepper's abandoned cache, as you can see. Lots of stuff. <laughs> let's use what we got of this lantern here. So let's see what we got in here, if anything. Oh, we have a bed. So there's that. And uh, is that it? We got a metal shelf. Uh, and we came in here. In this grate? No. So this looks like it's just empty then. I think. There's something hidden. Doesn't seem like it. So yeah, so then this one is the em another empty one. So we need to check the other ones and then we can see if any of them have the recipe that we want. Okay. And we might as well just sleep here, to be honest. Um, we can drop these. Don't forget. And we'll sleep for 10 hours and just uh, recover a bit. Um, sorry, recover a bit there. So let's sleep for 10. So there's another refuge at least, you know. So these bunkers are not... They're not exactly priority in Interloper. But they're not useless either. There we are. Oh, almost survived a hundred days. I do need to get some food actually. Depending on the weather, I could maybe go and grab a wolf. A drink. We have these ones. There's also some map this. Probably come back down. Let's see what's the weather like. Yeah, it's fine. Cold, but fine. Then we'll map this. There we go. I'm missing a small part there, so maybe we might go down there and map that. I'm gonna go back inside because it's really cold. It's early morning. So let's just do that. This past time. Freezing. Might as well. Then we can go back out. I'm starving. Yeah, we'll probably grab some cattails and stuff. Map over here also. And more saplings. <clears throat> I was going to grab all the saplings I see. Okay. I think we've probably survived 100 days more or less now, haven't we? We'll check that later though. Okay, I want a map over here. Okay, up here actually. Is there anything up here? This doesn't seem like it. Oh, it's so cold. 
Almost looks like there is something, but I don't think there is anything here. No, it's just like a little, <coughs> a little area. Okay, let's uh, uh, to get to the bunker, we have to go all the way around. So I think we'll just head to the tower instead. We can warm up there, and then we have to go back down and uh, regroup. And after that, I think we're honestly just done in this area. We'll take the shortcut out of Bleak Inlet. Because, um... Anything right about now. Uh, that's one area we haven't been to. We also haven't killed all the moose. We only killed one moose, but that's okay. Now, I am missing an arrow somewhere. Because... I haven't found the wolf that ran off with my arrow. But like I said earlier, it's perfectly possible that that was actually the same wolf as the one that attacked me again later. The crows, I think it's the doe over there. Yeah, that's the doe. So, uh, if, uh, I think it probably is the same wolf, if I'm honest. Uh, actually, what's this over here? I don't know. This is the wolf I shot in the face. Yeah, it's not that wolf either. Yeah, no, it probably is the same wolf. I could check it, though, quickly. Because it may have bugged and it's still got the arrow in it. It happens sometimes. We could very quickly check it. I am cold now, but that's okay. Let's just have a quick look, just to see if that is the case. That he's got an arrow next to him. It does happen sometimes that um, when you click when you click on a carcass, you should get all the arrows that are on that carcass. But sometimes there's an arrow that's fallen off or is underneath the carcass, that sort of thing. And if you come back later, uh, sometimes the arrow has moved and is now next to the animal. I'm not sure where his friend has gone. Doesn't seem like that's the case this time. No. Alright. Let's head to the tower to warm up. Now let's head back down. I might take the shortcut down just to show you how it works. Eat cattail so you don't lose well fed. But yeah, then I think now we're more or less done here in Bleak Inlet. Uh, there's not much we haven't done. There's a few small areas we haven't mapped, but nothing really worth writing home about. I will at some point, when the maps are nearly done, I will go around and map whatever's missing. The only place we haven't really been to is the shortcut out of Bleak Inlet, which we'll do after this. And uh, I haven't done the shortcut into the workshop. I'll come back and do that another time. And I think we've done everything, so... I think we are okay. Try not to take cold damage here. Okay, this is why I picked up those cattails. Hey, another skillet. <laughs> Oh, I don't suppose it's, they've added stuff here, have they? Doesn't seem like it, now. Just a skillet. That was not there before. <laughs> Cattail heads that I dropped before. Plug. Take that. Hey, a pot that I missed. This will come in handy. All right. Anything else? Books. Tracking Tim Wolf stuff. Hey, is this a... This is a coastal highway. That's the garage right there. And that is... Uh, Misanthrope Island. Hmm. I never noticed it had that. Okay, I don't see anything else. But, uh, we need to... Uh, eat a bit. Let's 
Let's see those two. And we'll sleep for like one hour. Uh, there we go. And then I'll take the I'll take the shortcut out of here. Just so you can see. Not the shortcut, sorry, one of the goating routes out of here. Just so you can see what that's like. So normally to get out here, you uh, go down here, right? This way, of course. But there are shortcuts to get down. I mean, you can go down this way too, but it's a bit difficult. But the easiest way is the one that's by the, um, the radio tower. So we're going to go there again, and I'll show you how that's done, if you don't know how to do it. Sometimes you take uh, fall damage from it, but not too bad. All right, uh, we'll probably go and warm up inside. Because it's kind of cold. Before we do the trick. I think this arrow is lost, but uh, I might find it somewhere random. When that happens, when an animal runs away with an arrow and I can't find the animal, then the arrow is just somewhere in the world happens all the time and you'll Probably see, I'm just calling it now, but you'll probably see at some point in these next 400 days, you'll see that I probably will walk around and I'll just randomly see a arrow in the snow. And like, oh, oh, there it is, you know. And I'll probably say something like, which, which one could this be? And then one of you, the viewers, will say, oh, that was in episode so-and-so, you know. <laughs> So uh, that will that will happen. I lost several arrows. I always lose the most arrows in Bleak Inlet, always, uh, because um, the Timberwolves very often don't die. They're, they're very fast, so they often run away with my arrows. So I think I lost three arrows at least in Bleak Inlet. So they're around somewhere. I tend to write it out, down, but uh, with the Timberwolves, so who knows where they could be. This is where the shortcut is to get down. Or the the goating route. But we're gonna go in here to warm up. Let's do that. And quickly to see if there's anything behind here. I never actually set foot here before. No, nothing. Worth checking though. I could eat a horse. That's good. And let's just, uh, I don't think we need to sleep, we can just pass time for one hour. And that also, by the way, should mean, uh, let's just eat, let's just drink the broth, I'll just make more broth, who cares. We should be at 100 days now. There we are. 100 days survived, how about that? So we're one-fifth of the goal here. <laughs> yeah. In 33 episodes, it's going to take a while to get there, but we got it. We got 100 days. Three very close calls. Two of those close calls were somewhat within my control. And one of them was not within my control. And all three could have easily ended the run. So uh, in one of those three, especially, I was just lucky. Which was the bleak, uh, broken railroad one. And in here, uh, Fluffy was... More of a threat than I imagined, but uh, I did make it. But it's been been close. Over 300 kilometers. Quite a bit. Because we've been to the thingy. Uh, we want to, in the long run, probably spend 50 days in each of these areas. And we haven't got that. Ash Canyon, we haven't gone to Black Rock yet. We need to do that. So we are going to go there. Uh, that's the only region missing, but all of the regions we're going to spend more time in uh, to like set up uh, bases. Uh, only really Mystery Lake we've spent some time in, but we're going to spend more time in the regions. Loot all the smaller places and uh, establish more of a base with um, um, with food and that sort of stuff. Okay, let's do the goating route down. So if you're going to goat down from here, it's not that hard. If you try to get over these fences and stuff, the game will just block you and won't let you do it. However, you can go here on this bridge and you can crawl through this gap. And now you're out. And now you can just go down and 
Even if you don't know how to do it, which I barely remember, you can just improvise, it's not that hard. And this actually will lead to a uh, the shortcut out of Bleak Inlet, which we will do uh, on the way out of here. And here we are. So this is uh, the way out of Bleak Inlet if you take this route. But we're going to go via home first. So let's get out of here. Go through here. We've gone back here in a little bit. And that's how you get down. Ta -da! Okay. Now over here there's also sometimes a little campfire or something like that. But I don't think there is one today. Also, by the way, we need to uh, kill uh, Sketchy. And actually, that's one thing we should do now. We should sit down and make some goals for this run. What do we want to do? So there's a lot of stuff we need to do, actually. So it will easily, it's going to be easy to fill uh, 500 days of uh, things to do. That's not going to be an issue. But we might want to write down some special things that we want to do. Let's go home, let's warm up, and then that's it. Then we'll uh, head out of Bleak Inlet. And now all the Timwolves should be dead. Uh, possibly the first pack I killed may have respawned now. So let's get some food in us. Let's... Uh, do a little bit of sit rep and we might leave right away because it will be warmer. Yeah, that's quite possible that we'll do that. Let's see, are there any coal heads I missed? I don't think the coal respawns, but we'll see. We'll definitely come back here. We're going to come back to all the regions. Okay. Is there a charcoal here? Oh, I've never felt so cold in my life. All right. Let's restock it. Eat this. Then eat this. And then eat that. Alright, so before we leave this region, we're going to make some goals for the rest of this run. Uh, so, I tend to do that. Uh, let's do... We did kind of loot the... We did this. We kind of did this. Not quite. Uh, right. I think we'll do the goals down here under the matches and that. How else, yeah. No, we'll do it here. So long-term goals. And if you have any suggestions you would like to add to this list, we can do that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, complete signal void. We're going to um, uh, uh, get the ballistics vest. We're going to get the noisemaker blueprint. We're going to find all recipes. We're going to um, craft extra sets of tools. We're going to level gunsmithing, level five. We're going to create perfect maps rather near perfect maps as far as it goes and uh, we're going to uh, find Spelunker's Lantern we're going to spend 50 days in each region we're going to kill all three special wolves 
which is uh, fluffy, which we've done. Scruffy, which we've also done, and sketchy. Sketchy likely will spawn because usually uh, on Stalker you should have all three wolves up, but on Interloper it's not always all three because there are fewer wolves on Interloper uh, than Stalker. So very often Scruffy or Fluffy does not spawn, but Sketchy usually spawns, but not always. But because he respawns, I think it's, he tends to always be there at some point. So that's that. Um, if we really want to one day, also we need to refill all jerry cans. We need to visit the Aurora mine. Uh, we can break down all crates in the dam. Because why not? And let's see. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> catch or fish types and uh, I also here like where, where I say find all recipes also cook one of each recipe uh, I think that's it really for now because uh, they we're currently on DLC part three, but of course there will be part four, five, and six. So there'll be stuff added. So there'll probably be more things to do. There'll be more tales. So we'll do that. There's there's some stuff we already done, which is things like go to. Uh, we can just add stuff we've done here already. So we've done a couple of things that we we already done, which is like. Go to Cannery Workshop, for example. We did that. Uh, collect radio. Um, that sort of thing. And uh, collect backpack. And go to Summit. Kind of like the main things, I guess. So when do we do those things, actually? Um, Cannery was just now. That was like a few days ago. That was like 99. And then I went to Summit and that quite early, I think. Uh, okay, 17 was the gold mine. And Summit was 19. Okay. So let me just add that. Uh, achieved... Say nine, uh, seventeen, and then achieved a nineteen. Not all the, as you see, achieved a nineteen. Oops, ninety-nine. The radio was not that long ago. Uh, here, 880, I guess. No, here, 81. Yeah, 81. Okay. Achieved the 81. There we are. So uh, we'll get these, we'll do all of these ones. And I'll probably add some stuff to this list as well. Um. Because I think there's a couple of things missing. And if you think of anything that you want to add to it too, we can do that. Okay, so that's good. Now with that in mind, I think we're going to check what the weather is like outside. This stuff can stay, but I want to have a look at what do I want to bring with. I don't know if I want cooking materials here. So I'm going to take that with me. I'm going to take with me these also. The dog food can stay. Oh, I had more water here. Okay. Let's just put that water outside here rather than in here. Yeah, good weather. No, we got really bad weather. We won't be leaving right now then. Is getting too heavy to carry. Let's see what I want to take with to take back to my main base. Uh, here we got some saplings. There's maple here. And we got these as well. And we got skeletons. Oh, I'm going to take these with me. 
Okay. Uh, we don't need to bring the wood. Leave the wood here. And here too. Drop these. Alright, so what do I want to bring with? I can I can be a bit heavy, but I don't want to be too heavy. Again, let's just take... Ah, let's just take those with us. Let's see, arrow shaft and arrow heads. Uh, yeah, we'll take those with us because I'm not going to use them here. The flares, they can stay here for now. Uh, I don't want to take... Oh, let's, let's refuel these. Use them now. Uh... I'm gonna take these with me because they're, they're fun. <laughs> we'll take the peach later. These also we'll take later. Um, I guess that's it for now. The rest can stay. Oh, and we need five of these. I guess that's it for now. We can take two of these. I think that's it. Let's put the peaches here because it's too heavy. There we are. And then, is that it? Let's refuel the lantern. And I think we'll wait until morning before we go. And we'll leave some stuff to take back also in the cave, in Larry's cave. We're a bit heavy, but not that heavy, so this should be fine. But I'm just going to pass some time here, actually, uh, because the weather's atrocious. Unless it's changed just now. No, it's still, still bad. It's actually not that bad, even in the wind. But we are going to get cold, though. Hmm. I could maybe just leave now, I suppose. But I think I won't. I think I'll just leave in the morning. So let's pass some time until we can sleep 10 hours and we can regenerate fully and then it'll be later in the day also so yeah, it should be warmer so it's going to pass time here until we get to sleep pretty long and we can use some water we're going to head back to mystery lake anyway but we're not going to go straight there we're going to go uh, and repair the tower first we we'll repair the tower, and then we're going to come back to Bleak Inlet and get the bunker, the signal void bunker, which we'll do next time, and then we'll go back to, to Mystery Lake. Okay, I think this is good enough. Let's eat this. And then that. And when we leave, I think it's time to eat that uh, rabbit pie. Okay, there we are. Let's go back out here. At full health. What's the weather like? Still perfect. Eat that. And take one with us. Have a drink. And I don't think we need more than that. I think that's it, really. Let's just make sure. So we got the scrap metal and that. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, you can drop some sticks if you want. Take this with us. We can leave one of these here. In case I, I just really want to use it for whatever reason. And um, we can leave some sticks here as well because we got the cold. So let's leave some sticks here. There yeah. Okay. And then we can eat this. Finally. And there we are. Now we're no longer heavy. But let's go. We're leaving Bleak Inlet. Thank you, Bleak Inlet, for all the fish. We are out of here. Could be cold, but that's fine. I lost some arrows in this region, but that's okay. We've done everything here now. Almost. We will come back here though. We're gonna come back next episode to do Signal Void, but we're only gonna briefly pop in. We're gonna go to Fallen Muskeg, repair the, the tower, and then we will um, 
Uh, once the Aurora triggers, we will come back here and get the signal void bunker. But once we have it, we're going to leave and go back to Mystery Lake. But we will come back to Ble Bleak Inlet. We'll come back to all the regions. So we'll come back here and check out uh, how we left it. Maybe establish the base even more. Maybe they've added stuff. But even if they haven't added stuff, that's fine. We're still going to come back here. So now we're going to take the shortcut out of Bleak Inlet, which is where I jumped down in the goating area. That's over here. It's kind of hidden, like if you just look, it doesn't look like there's anything. But there is this little hidden path here. So it is worth uh, going here. And this is a faster way out of Bleak Inlet. The other way to do it, if, uh, you can climb up, of course, the rope and go to Ravine and climb that rope too. Or you can go all the way around, you can go via the cannery and up to the cave. And of course you can do that. But you don't need to, you can just go here. Did I say I hate being cold? We're gonna take some cold damage here. There you go, and this looks impassable, but you can just go on the right here, and then through here. And then you're through. So you don't need a hatchet for this. You could use this route for as the sleep as well. Then we're going around here and then we get to the secret mountain path. That's this. And right below us is a cave that we haven't been to actually. Might might go there. Uh, but I think we'll leave that cave for another time. It's basically underneath us. Uh, but you want to follow this mountain path to the end because we get to uh, a small little campsite where there's a, usually a corpse. So we're going to do that and then we're just going to go down. And then that's it really. Neat little mountain path. Let's see what we got here. Sounds like there's probably a uh, corpse or something inside that cave. Is this on the map actually? I don't think it is on the map. On the Polaroid. You can try mapping it maybe. Uh, the uh, single void bunker actually, spoiler alert, is about there, right there. But you can't access it with, uh, without the radio. And it can be a pack of timber wolves here too, so be careful. Right down there is the cave. We'll go to that later. And I saw there was a carcass there. Here we are. Here's the little secret area. We got a book. We got a little bed. And, uh, and our little corpse. Nothing there. I'm gonna try and map it quick just to see if this actually is um, revealed now. Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay, and then the way out of there is just, just over there. So it's gonna go down there. You can do it many different ways. Like here, for example, it's perfectly safe. That's very easy. You can do this way too, but let's just take the easy way, which is here. Uh, seeing as we're right here, we might as well actually check out the cave. It's like the only thing we haven't really done. We of course also have the memento cache, which is in the Hunter's Blind. But I'm not going to go get that now, because it's all the way on the other side of the map. The Hunter's Blind is like all the way over there. Uh, I can't be all over that. There's another Hunter's Blind over here. We won't be going that either. But we will be checking this cave out here. And we have mapped it already. It showed up on the Polaroid. But is there anything in here? Let's see. Yeah, it's so uh, some wood. We don't really need the wood anymore. So, uh, do that. And we might as well sleep an hour here. Warm up a bit. Yeah, 101 days. Uh, so the only thing we haven't really done is the lockbox. 
which is in that uh, on the spline. There's a hunter spline in the middle of the map also. We haven't been there either. And there's a couple of smaller corners of the map that we haven't mapped with charcoal. That's about it, really. <clears throat> I don't think we're we'll doing any of that stuff uh, today because then we have to go back to where we were. So we'll come back for those things later. Uh, potentially, I might do it when I do the signal void, but I might have to face Aurora Team Rules. But maybe when I do the signal void bunker, I might go down to the Hunter's Blind, which is... Uh, we think we might be able to see it now. There, there it is, yeah. Um, actually, that's really close. It's a bit closer than I thought. The exit is right there now. Uh, right there's the exit, you see it? But seeing as the answer is right here, I thought it was a bit further away for some reason. Uh, we might as well just check it out quickly. I mean, it's right there. In case there's memento here too or something, I don't know. We got two keys. Let's see what we got here. Here we have a backpack with peaches in it, and that's it. All right, well, we did it now. So now what is kind of left to do in this region, uh, that's the remainder of the pack, is the hunter's blind over there with the memento key in it. Uh, there's also killing the moose because there's three moose here. There's a single void bunker. And uh, a little bit of misc mapping, a cu couple, there's a couple of dark spots on the map here and there. And that's about it really. So we'll do a wrap up. It's always good to leave a couple things so you can come back here anyway. In a region generally, I mean. Leave one or two things undone, unfinished, so you can come back to it. And we'll come back here for sure. And we'll do... Uh, we'll do what's missing. If nothing else, come back and make a perfect map. No Tim Wolf pack here. Sometimes there's Tim Wolves here. And here we are. Thank you, Bleak Inlet. It was a fun ride. Oh yeah, has the this is one of the normal um, wolf spawns or ravaged wolf carcass. Thank you, Bleak Inlet. That was fun. Lots of timber wolves and some fun adventures. But uh, it's time to move on. I will see you though very very soon for single single void, which we will do next time. But. After that, we are done for a while. We are leaving the kinet. <clears throat> and there we are. And with that, fellow survivors, I think I will leave you here, unburdened. <laughs> uh, that was Bleak Inlet, and we survived a hundred days. Now, next episode, we are going to go up to the radio tower in full-on Muskeg and repair the transmitter completely. And then it will be night time. Uh, so then we're going to come back here and there should be an Aurora. So we will come back here right away. I know we just said goodbye, but we can really come right back and we're going to do the bunker. And then we'll probably just leave. I don't think we'll go and do the Hunter's Blind and some other stuff. I don't think so. But we'll, we'll once we've done the bunker, we are come, we go back out of Lake Inlet and we head back to Mystery Lake, dump our stuff, and then we see where we go from there. But probably we'll go to Milton or Pleasant Valley afterwards to do the next bunker. Probably Milton, I guess, because I would like to spend some more time in Hushru Valley anyway. But we'll see uh, about that. But in any case, that was Bleak Inlet. That was 100 days. Thank you for joining me on this journey so far. Still got a long way to go and lots and lots of stuff to do. So stick with me. And next episode is Single Void Bunker. Let's go. All right. See you next time, survivors. Bye-bye.